A big thank you to those that have been supplying leather industrial sewing machines to African countries, precisely to Nigeria, Kenya, Ghana, and Cameroon. Okay, we really want to appreciate you guys. But please, I have one request and observation. It is a pain in our heart. The frustration is too much, okay? So enough is enough for us at this very point. I am pleading with you, okay? So please, stop the importation of lower quality leather sewing machines to Nigeria. Precisely this very machine called cylinder bed. The challenge we have with this very machine is this. It keeps cutting threads. And some of them don't accept the size of needle needed for the sewing of classic bags such as this. Why? Most especially the issue of cutting thread is what pays us the most. The frustration is much. So please stop the importation. For African bag makers, Nigerian bag makers, I want you to know something, which is this, the brand, don't be deceived with this very brand. When it comes to the cylinder bed sewing machine, you see the brand of Two Lion, Juki, Eda Jukai or Juki, they are all the same, okay? And then you see the brand Yamata and Butterfly. They are all the same machines. They are all the same product. Everything is, is exactly the same. So don't be deceived. They will be telling you butterfly costs 850,000 naira in Nigeria. They will tell you that the duty costs 900,000 naira in Nigeria. They will tell you that the two lion costs 750,000. Hello? They are all the same thing. All of them cut the thread. All of them does not have stitches guide. So enough is enough. I have over 2,000 online registered students in Africa and other countries as well. So please, I am stopping everyone from purchasing this very type of cylinder bed sewing machine. We have the particular technical cylinder bed we are looking for. The features is what matters. We cannot be deceived by the name or the brand, no. All I care is the features, the strength, the Capacity of the machines is what I care for and the features what the machine can do what I can see I can be able to detect I have more than 15 years experience in the leather industry I taught different people and I work in different places. I have different machines. I purchase different types of machines So it is in no way every brand new cylinder bed in Nigeria currently now in the year 2022 I am making this video today being uh, 11th of September 2024. So please, any brand new cylinder bed in Nigeria is a no-go. We are not buying them. I am telling all my online students to stop, the physical student to stop. Stop purchasing any brand new cylinder bed in Nigeria. Are we poor to that extent that they can't bring the best quality? Are we poor to that extent? No. For you to use one million to purchase one machine is better you spend um, five million to buy one high quality machine that can serve you well. Listen, we have so many skillful and well crafted people in Africa, precisely in Nigeria, that can make different classic bags for you. We make different luggage, backpacks. Can you see this bag? Are you not impressed with this bag? It stands on its own. There is nothing inside. This bag stands on its own. Can you see them? They stand on their own. There is nothing inside. You should be impressed with the quality we have. But we are not impressed with the bag makers in the leather industry. We are not impressed with the kind of machines we have. So please, I am making this video because we need the best quality machines in Nigeria. The issue of cutting thread is in no way. We don't like It's not good. Like We don't like it. It's not fine. It's not nice. When it comes to this very craft, you know, in any, anything craft, Finishing is very important, so we pay attention to that finishing. We carefully use our hands to take proper measurement. We cut, but when it comes to the machine, the disappointment. The only industrial sewing machines we can manage in the leather industry is the flat bed, which is this very one. The flat bed does not have much issue, and the flat bed is restricted to, you know, flat stitches. We can actually use it, use this very machine to sew 
school bag and some laptop bags okay when it comes to luggage like this very one we can use this machine from the beginning to the end but we can't use this very machine to sew this type of bag why take a look at this demonstration when it comes to the edge stitches, you know, when we finish making couple the back, then we have to sew the edge like this. So when it comes to this machine, it can sew the edge for you. You can see that. So it is restricted for that function. It can't do that for you. That is where we need the cylinder bag, as you can see the demonstration over there. But the one we have in Nigeria, they keep cutting thread. Like I've told you, I am an online teacher of classic bags and a shoe making with over 2,000 online registered students in Africa and other country as well, okay? So please, I am stopping everybody, share this video so we stop purchasing that very brand. All this butterfly juki, this, take a look at this feature. It's a no way, it's a no go. It is a no, enough is enough for this very brand. Whosoever that is the ambassador, that is the commander in, we know that all these machines are made in China. The high quality, the lower quality, they are all made in China and other countries in the world, okay? So whosoever that is uh, our own ambassador or that is our own commander telling the uh, producers, so please reach out to the producers. If there is a way we can sell all the cylinder beds in Nigeria to you people, take them and reconstruct them to supply the high quality. It is better for us to save good money and then buy the high quality than to be running here and there by the cylinder bag and the kids cutting thread. Apart from the challenge, we don't even have a stable electricity. You can see that frustration is enough for us, okay? So the frustration of not having that electricity, that is what prompted me to produce something like the hand crank. This very machine, I use it with electricity and without electricity. So only me improvise this kind of a thing for myself right here at Abuja, the Federal Capital Territory of Nigeria. So I improvise this for myself. I can use this very machine with and without the electricity. Uh, we are, okay, I have last thing. Like, bring scissors for me, please. Marco scissors for me. So I constructed that. So apart from the frustration of not having electricity, so you can imagine buying a fake or a lower quality. I don't want to use the word the word uh, fake. I want to use the word the word lower quality. Okay, I think knife should be the best. Quickly bring bring knife. So I constructed this machine in such a way I can use it with and without electricity. So please, I am calling on whosoever that is responsible of providing or importing leather sewing machines to African countries, precisely to Nigeria, to please only bring higher quality leather sewing machines. We are tired of this issue of cutting threads day and night. The frustration is too much. We don't have electricity and then managing a, a machine that will be disappointing you and then the fueling in Nigeria is very funny okay yes so I can use this very machine without electricity as you can see it this is how I use it so I constructed this for myself you can see that I saw different bags with this very machine with and without electricity right here in Nigeria you can see that so now like this very machine is serving us well we don't have problem when it comes to the flatbed leather sewing machine there's no problem but when it comes to the cylinder bed no no no, no. this cylinder bed is a no go machine we are not buying it again all my students i am stopping them please share this video nobody should buy this type of cylinder bed again take a look at this one this is the one we need this is the exact machine we need you can see the function how it works take a look at it the, the features what your eyes can see so we know the quality and the technical features we are looking for on the machines so but when it comes to all this any other machine any other brand of the you know cylinder bed it is a no-go machine for us so it is better for us to buy one machine at the rate of five million than to use one million to buy one machine that cannot serve us for 100 years it is a no so please once again i will end my video this way to those that have been standing for us the ambassadors or whosoever that is responsible of importing standing for the production of leather sewing machine to african countries so please i am begging you speak to the producer tell them this time around we are changing the brand we are changing the quality to a better quality it is not nice enough you keep bringing lower quality machines to Nigeria and they will be battling with the finishing. The finishing is not nice enough. And then you will leave our back 
over the bags that we make in the UK, over the bags that we, the shoes that we make in, made in Italy. It is not nice. So why can't you bring that Italy machine? Why can't you bring the UK machine so we can make the UK standard? We can actually construct a very good shape with a high quality material, but machines disappointment. When you come closer, you may be discovering some funny stitches. All right, so please, it is not nice. Hope I am not rude in this very video. I'm sorry if I'm rude, but the experience is not nice at all, okay? If you don't understand my point, all I am trying to say is that these machines I am showing you are just photocopy, not the original brand copy of the machine. What it simply means is that they made the lower quality of the butterfly, they made the lower quality of the Juki, but the Juki company itself originally does not make such machines. So, but they strictly made those machines for poor countries. So now the poor countries are not satisfied with the poor machines again. That is why I am making the video. I am not saying Butterfly is a fake company, no. Juki is a fake company, no. Yamata is a fake company, no. Two Lion is a fake company, no. It is the machines that we produce. These are well-known brand companies making high quality machines. But it is the people that follow back telling the producers to make a particular brand because so-so country cannot afford it. So, but now I am telling you that those poor countries can now afford the high quality machines. Thank you. But I am still standing, everybody should share this video until we start receiving best quality brand in Africa. Share this video to any level. Every day, make sure you share this video. The one you share today, tomorrow you share. Share to Instagram, to your WhatsApp, to Facebook, TikTok, uh, what do we call it? The X app. That is a former Twitter, okay? So please share this video to any level you can. And even Telegram, just share this video. Every day be sharing this video. It is not nice, all right? The frustration of electricity and the frustration of cutting thread and no stitches, guys, it's not nice. Thank you so much. This video is coming from High Level of Grace, HLG, the online teacher of classic bass and the shoe making right here at Abuja, Nigeria. Much love, guys. Please, once again, share this video. And thank you to our supplier.